What's up guys, James with That's Right Lawn Care. I hope you're all having an awesome weekend. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about my first view of the SFC 30 inch Skag push mower. So this weekend my dealer was having an open house event and they had some skag reps there they had echo rep a cub cadet guy um for that's the three main brands that they use so they had a couple of reps there they were there to answer any kind of questions that you might have so along with that one of the reps brought the sfc 30 and that's skag's new finish cut 30 inch push mower so i was up there yesterday friday and I didn't record any. Um, I know I should have. Well, after today, I really know I should have. Um, but I chatted with one of the reps, and we talked about it, and we really we we sat around the machine and looked at it. We we all kind of we picked at it a lot, you know. Just said, well, this and that, and this and that, and which we'll get into that a little later in the video. So the dealer owner actually came out and said, "Hey, man, you're more than welcome." He knows I do videos, so he said he came out and he said, "Hey, man, you're more than welcome to record." Uh, you know we really want to get this 30 inch we want to get as much visibility of this 30 inch push mower out as possible because it's not out yet he said feel free to record and I said you know what uh, I'm gonna be by tomorrow uh, as long as this mower is gonna be here I'm definitely happy to do some recording I know there's a lot of people that want to want to see and hear and know a little bit about this mower and uh, what they can come to expect with it whenever it is available he said, yeah, we'll be open until two o'clock tomorrow. So I said, all right, cool. I will be up there. We have a lot of rain in the schedule right now. So that, I'm not sure if that's what kind of messed things up as you can see. But, you know, needless to say, I should have done some recording while I was up there yesterday, but I had some yards to cut and I was just kind of going up there and hanging out for a little while and just kind of getting a feel for the mower and taking a look at it. So I did take the mower out and I ran a couple of passes with it and the dealer, the grass there isn't perfect plush grass. It's, it's more of like what you'd find a lot of in our area. It's not treated or fertilized or seeded or anything like that. It's just, you know, you've got your combination of grass and weeds. I put the mower on three inches and started cutting with it and I cut a little strip and then I dropped it down to two and three quarters. And then I ran four strips with it. And it actually, it like, you could, you could see some stripes. So I pulled up today with some intent of getting a lot of video and chatting with one of the reps a little bit about the machine and some of the stuff that we'd really talked about yesterday. Um, Cause I wanted to get as much knowledge crammed into this video as I could about the SFC. 30. So I pulled up today. I walked in, went and said hi to everybody. I was just chatting along with some of the people in there. And all of a sudden I see that 30 inch heading towards a trailer. And I'm thinking, oh no, I've missed my opportunity to get any kind of video footage of this thing. So I quickly ran out the door and um, I said, hey, is it is it already leaving? And he said, yeah, the rep is heading out. He's heading back to his hometown wherever he's from so i said well do you mind if i get you know just a little bit of video footage before it actually goes up on the trailer just so that i can go around and and uh, pause pause the video and show a couple of key features about it and this and that and the guy was like of course you know so i was able to get a little bit of video footage before they sent it off so i've got it out in the parking lot and I'm taking some video of it. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna, I'm gonna dub my voice over and we're gonna take a look at this mower. All right guys, so here we are right off the bat. What do you notice? Boom, it's orange. You get that nice cat eye gold. So yeah. what we have here is the Skag SFC, which stands for Skag Finish Cut Commercial 30 inch self-propelled walk behind mower. One thing I really like about this is it is a three in one 
So you've got the side discharge, you can mulch, and you can bag with it. And having that versatility is really nice, depending on what area you're in. So uh, taking a closer look at it, we are going to be powered by a Color Command Pro CV224. And that's going to power a MV702 transmission. That's going to give you ground speeds at 4 miles an hour. Now comparing this to a Toro with the personal pace, what you're going to come across is uh, you're going to be able to go, you know, faster or slower at, at your own personal pace. As to where the Skag is going to be a variable, variable speed controller in the throttle cable. You can set your speeds at whatever you feel comfortable with, but after you pull in that lever, it's going to go at your set speed. Another thing we're going to notice about this mower is it is an offset deck. So you don't have the two side-by-side -side blades are actually offset, which means you, you're not gonna have that time belt. It's gonna make maintenance a little bit easier and the upkeep on it, you just slap the blades on and go. You don't have to worry about teeing them up, which it's really not all that difficult to tee up. But if you have a belt break, it's something you have to worry about. And it's just, it makes maintenance a lot easier when you take your blades off and sharpen them and, and all that stuff. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get any video of underneath it. There's a lot of really cool features about this mower that I'd look, I'd, I wish I would have been able to show you. But I was kind of pressed for time with having the machine. Now, as you can see here on these handle rails, they've got it to where the wires are actually tucked in the tube. And I think that is a genius idea to keep those wires away from any kind of branches or brush or anything that it could get caught or snagged on. I think that is a genius idea. That's and one thing I failed to mention is this is a pilot mower. This is not the actual mower that is going to be coming out. It's going to look very similar, but there's going to be several key things that are going to be changed on this. Skag has been listening to some of you guys. Uh, Skag has always been listening. They've just been waiting. They don't want to send out the first thing that they hear. They want to put it out in the field. They want to test it. They want to correct it. They want to get it right. They want to send out a great unit right off the bat. They don't want version 2, version 3, version 4, version 5 all in the same year just because they didn't get something right the first time. There's also an oil filter and as you can see right here there's a drain valve that opens up and allows you to drain the oil out this way instead of tipping it back like you do a typical push mower, flip it upside down to drain the oil out and I think that's going to make it a lot easier and a lot less messy whenever it comes to doing maintenance on it. Moving on to the deck height adjustment. So you've got a height adjustment between five inches and an inch and a half. One thing I did notice about this right off the bat is you do not have a transport lock. So if you want to put it in transport, you pull the deck up, pull the pin, drop the pin in the highest setting, which will be five inches. All right, guys, so that's pretty much just what we can see from walking around it. There's not really much I can say about it. I'm not going to sit here and say, man, this is a beast of a mower. I'm not going to sit here and say it doesn't really compare to the Toro. Um, all I can say is that I, I hear a lot of comments where people say that it's real heavy. And I know that that is something that me and the rep actually talked about and it's something that they're working on. The prototype that is shown in the video, um, I think from what I heard is they were actually moving some more of the weight back just to make it a little bit easier when you're making those turns and stuff. Also, there is gonna be the option to have these swivel wheels on the front, the front casters, uh, to make it a little bit easier, to make it more like a walk behind, uh, so that that'll alleviate any of that pushing down to turn stuff. But like I said, that is gonna be an option, so you will be paying for it. So from what I've seen and what I was told, MSRP is gonna be 2427 on them. Um, from what I heard, they are going to be really hot in the area my dealers when i was up there friday they said that they had eight on order and when i was up there today they said that they'd already up their order to 16 so they've got 16 on order and i mean there's a lot of people up there while i was up there yesterday and today looking at it and checking it out and you know a lot of a lot of people were talking about it so uh, it's definitely a hot item for skag this year along with some of their other things but with the turf storm the windstorm, uh, I'm not quite there yet, especially with the turf storm. I don't do any kind of spraying or anything like that, so I wouldn't be too interested in having one of those. So hopefully when they do get some in, I will be able to actually have a little bit more time with it and uh, be able to tell you some stuff about it. You know, really go over it in detail, but this was just kind of a first look, first glance type thing, what I see, what I saw. So just like any other mower, it does take a little bit of time to get used to. It wasn't really something I was used to. Never really ran a 30-inch push mower, 
And I know some of you guys are going to be like, man, that's not a push mower, that's self-propelled. That's more like a walk behind. Well, it kind of fits more into the category. It's right there in between, so it's just a little self-propelled push mower. But I am excited to see how some of these people that will be getting them, I do not think I'll be getting one reason being is I've got a 36 inch stand on and I think that's gonna eliminate just about all of my push mowing needs. Uh, there are, I do have one property that the 30 inch push mower would work on, but I'm not buying it for that one property. Toro's residential time master is probably something where I would lean more towards where you've got that price value. Now, if I was going to be using this push mower every day, then I think I would want to, you know, spend a little bit more money and actually have a better machine with going with the Skag. But for some reason, I don't see myself push mowing 10 yards a day. Not with the equipment I'm running right now. But if this business ends up growing and I end up with several crews and one of them, one of the crews, it won't be the crew that I'm on. <laughs> if one of the crews ends up needing that push mower, that's, that's an option. So that'll be a commercial push mower that I could use. I could add to my fleet. Guys, again, I do want to apologize. I did not get too much time with the mower and I know I should have recorded yesterday. It was a beautiful day yesterday, but I didn't and oh well. So you get what you get. No, I'm sure we'll get some really good footage of it whenever they get it at the dealership. I will be sure to holler at my dealer and say, hey man, as soon as they come in, I'd like to come up and actually do a, a walk around video of this if if you would let me, um, just to kind of get you know some more details on it. So guys, that's going to end the portion of the video about the SFC 30. Now today, I did not leave the dealership empty handed. It's really hard to leave that place without something. So I was just kind of looking around and up on the counter and stuff like that. And I noticed uh, some hand scrub, some like hand cleaner and stuff like that. Echo Red Armor has hand cleaner. And he gave me, you know, a couple, couple of the little packets to try it out. But I figured I'd go ahead and get the bottle. So I got a bag. What I have here is Echo Red Armor. This is their hand cleaner. It is all natural, dirt powered, and water activated. So this is the hand scrub. Um, it's tough on grease, sap, and gasoline. So y'all know maintenance Sunday can get kind of greasy. It can get real grassy. It can get real nasty. This is going to come into play. So I will be washing my hands with it. And I will let you know what I think about it and how it might compare to... Uh, some of that orange stuff or whatever it's called. I forget the name of it. So while I was at the store, I did flip the cap up, went to smell it, and I noticed that there is a cover over it. So these are sealed. So I do want to rip these seal off and get a whiff of this stuff. It does have a really nice smell. So it's pretty much that same citrusy stuff as you're going to get with the, the orange Smells good. Uh, we'll be putting this to the test maybe tomorrow. Weather depending, guys. I mean, it just really depends on how the weather is. If not, I will knock it out first thing Monday. I've got to get some grease going down. I've got to sharpen some blades. And another thing I saw while I was up at the counter is going to be the Echo Red Armor blade cleaner and lubricant. So this cleans and protects and fights sap and corrosion, blade cleaner and lubricant. So this will go on hedge trimmers and pruners and your shears and saw blades and stuff like that. So from looking at it, what it says on the back is it promotes plant health. And what they're getting at there is it prevents the burning. So while you're trimming the plants, the shrubs, it's gonna keep your blades cooler with the lubricant and it's not going to, you're not putting a hot blade on a plant. Also, oiling it up is going to maintain the blade edge, so you're not gonna have, again, like I said, that those hot blades rubbing together on the hedge trimmers, and it's also gonna make, you know, cutting into that plant a little bit easier if you're using a, a shear or a hand pruner. So, this will be going in the shed, and this will be used also on maintenance days, just to keep everything well lubricated, and keep all the blades clean. One thing I didn't do when I sharpened my hedge trimmers this season was throw some blade cleaner on there. I didn't have any blade cleaner available at the house. So 
Uh, this was something I really wanted to try. I've had somewhat of an eye on it. Um, it does not... Whew, it doesn't smell as good as the hand cleaner. We'll put it that way. But this is some that, this is some stuff I don't want to spill on me. But the good thing is if I do end up spilling on me, I've got some hand cleaners. I'll, hand, I'll uh, clean my hands up. But guys, we're going to go ahead and end this video right here. I hope you all had an awesome weekend. I hope you enjoyed what little bit of footage I was able to get of the SFC 30-inch push mower. Push mower? I know it wasn't much. I know I didn't get it running, guys. This is just kind of a look over of it, a, a viewing of it, so to say. Um, but whenever I get one at my dealer, not, not me purchase one, whenever my dealer has theirs come in, I'm going to go up there and chat with them and Hopefully, I'll be able to get a really good video on the SFC 30s. Guys, hope you all had an awesome weekend. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Shoot me a thumbs up, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Perfect.